everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing um, a Next and Tesco haul. So the other day I bought some bits off of Next, all clothes for the girls. Um, every Christmas I always buy them new clothes going into the next age group that they're going into. And Martin popped into Tesco's the other day and come home with some toys. So I thought I might as well chuck that into this haul as well and show you what we got. So I'll start with the next stuff first. Now, um, all the things that I've bought, I've got for each girl, so they're all matching. Um, I will try and remember prices. If not, I'll pop it on screen if I remember to do that. Um, I'm gonna just show you everything in Sophie's size because there's no point me showing you three times. Um, the only thing that of hers that hasn't come is a dress which I'll just show you because it's the only one I've got here which is Ava's size. So let's get started. So the first thing I got is this. This is Ava's size tartan dress. I really love the um, frilly collar on it and the black bow. I love a bit of tartan around Christmas. This looks massive as well. I think this is going to be too big for Ava, you know. So this was £13, so everything I'll show you is actually Sophie's size, which I said. So the bigger, the bigger girls' clothes tend to be a pound or two more. Um, so this one is Ava's size, was £13 for this dress. And I just thought with some navy tights or some cream tights underneath it, that will look lovely on Christmas Day. But they'll wear it before Christmas Day, I'm sure. <clears throat> Love a bit of tartan. Martin always teases me because I wear like check tartany kind of tops. Oh, you're always wearing tartan. So that's item number one. <clears throat> now we're on to Sophie's sizes. So, but I've got all the girls the same. So I got them two pairs of navy leggings. My girls live in leggings. I love dresses on girls, <clears throat> but I just find leggings are much more comfy um how much are these these were two pound fifty i think the bigger girls were three pound fifty a pair and i liked these because they've got like the frilly bottom that's why i chose these because i usually get things like this from primark or asda but I, the, these sold it because of the frilly bottoms just makes it look a bit prettier doesn't it with some nice um frilly socks with it would look lovely I also got them in black as well. So they had two, they have two navy pairs and two black pairs each. Again, these ones have got the, I don't know if you can see that, the frilly bottoms. Can't go wrong with leggings. Next is, this was seven pounds, just like a unicorn. kind of dress how do they describe it they don't but for me I would put leggings under this so black on the navy leggings would go with this and oh it's got swans on it as well and like the stars on it are actually I don't know if it pick it up they're actually like glitter it's all sparkly so I thought my girls would like that anything unicorn goes down well with little girls doesn't it i'm so happy now sophie is going into sizes where she can match her big sisters i love it they mostly won't like it when they're older and look back and be like mum why did you dress us the same next one is this this is so sweet i thought this is actually like a christmassy swing top dress and it's got hedgehogs on it christmas trees but do you know what I would still put my girls in this all year round, to be honest, because it's not like really super Christmassy, as in it's red, it's got Santa all over it. I think they could get away with wearing this. Yeah, so what we've got on there, hedgehogs and mice. And I think that is so sweet. Needs a good iron, I know that much. Eight pounds for that one. And they're all so soft, really nice material. I don't actually often buy from Next. I usually just buy from Asda because I love, I love supermarket stuff. I just think you can't go wrong with the price and it seems to wash up well 
and it lasts so yeah last couple of bits another swing top dress kind of thing and I like this because it got like the little bunny face on the top you know me I love a bunny for the girls yeah so pink with just big big polka dots on it these look very big actually for six to nine months my mum actually did um, say to me yesterday when I was speaking to her that next comes up big um, and it does look like it's big that looks massive to me for a six to nine month old anyway she'll grow into it eventually won't she and that one was eight pounds for that and the last item I got from next is this it's a sweatshirt dress and I thought we'd go for a bit of leopard. Don't often pick up kind of this kind of print, but I really quite like that. I liked the colour of it. It's almost like a rusty colour, isn't it? With the blue and black, like leopard print. I thought that was quite nice. I like the cuff, like sleeve. Does it? Oh, it, it does like unroll, but I'd keep it rolled up. How much was that one? That was £9 for that. Again, it looks really big. So I think all my girls will have to grow into these. But that's fine. It just means it will last a bit longer, doesn't it? Because with babies, they're only in things for three months. And then they're on to the next lot, aren't they? But yeah, I am super excited to see all my girls matching. And I cannot wait to get some photos of them all matching in the same clothes. So that's all I got from Next. I am still waiting for some of the bits, but I've managed to get one of everything so I can show you anyway. So that's that. Now on to Tesco. Did I tell you the price of that one? I think I did. Nine pound for that jumper. So on to Tesco. I've got the receipt. Will I remember to tell you the prices? Most probably not. So we'll start with Sophie's bits. Martin just went into Tesco. He said there was loads of stuff in there, so he just grabbed a load of stuff. I think he's panicking that they're not going to have anything. They've got plenty as it is. I was like, you didn't need to pick all this up, Martin. I was like, they've got so much already. But as he's home this Christmas, he's like, I just want them to have the best Christmas ever. We're all home together. I haven't got to go to work. So I can see his point. And if I'm being honest... I don't want my kids being spoiled brats, but I do love spoiling them. So anyway, let's get on with what we got in Tesco's. So we got this. So this is for Sophie. Some kind of lion. What does it do? One that's mostly really going to irritate me. It's bilingual. Teaches letters, numbers and shapes, names and animal sounds with three songs and 10 nursery rhymes. I've never heard of this brand either. Baby Clementoni. So I'm guessing it says it in English and Spanish by the looks of it. And this is for ten, from 10 months, but again, it's something Sophie can grow into. So that's the first thing he picked up for Soph. And that was, see, I nearly forgot to tell you, that was £10 for that. The next one is this Leapfrog Yum23 Toaster. Let me see how much that was before I forget. £9.50 for this. Now, when I went into B&M the other day, I almost picked this up for her. And I thought, oh, no, I won't bother. Just as well I didn't because he's picked it up. Look. So, yeah. Again, I always say it, can't go wrong with leapfrog stuff. This will go with like the ice cream cart they've got, the shopping basket they've got. Um, what other bits have I bought? There's other bits I've bought from them this year, isn't there? So yeah, they will all enjoy playing with that. What age is this from? Again, it's from 12 months plus, but it doesn't matter. She can grow into it. The other girls will end up playing with it as well. So yeah, there's that one. There was one more thing for Sophie. I split, he come home with like enough so I could split it up equally between them all. Next thing is the Fisher Price Game and Learn Controller. 
he did FaceTime me actually and I said, oh, why don't you pick this up for her? Because I actually saw this again in B&M and I just thought, oh, he'll like it because she can pretend to be like playing with her controller like he does on his PlayStation. Six to 36 months. Again, it does shapes and letters, colours, numbers and more. What was that? Controller. £11. That was more than the flipping toaster. Where's the sense in that? But anyway, on to the next thing. So this is for Livy. Livy apparently actually picked this out because she went with Martin. God, my hair's making me hot. Um, so they love watching Hey Dougie. And my mum actually calls uh, the girls her squirrels. Because <laughs> they, when the girls go over to my mum, they always say, can you put Hey Dougie on? So mum just ended up calling them her squirrels. So Hey Tuggy, talking Dougie soft toy. I guarantee this won't be played with. That's what I reckon anyway. How much was you? Where are you? Soft toy. £13.50 for that one. Not my cup of tea, but if she loves it, she loves it. <clears throat> Getting there now. Next. A wooden train set. I actually wanted to buy the wooden train set last year. I think Martin said this was a bit of a bargain. Train set. Uh, £9.50. I've told you the wrong price. So that toaster was 13 50 I was looking in the wrong bit. Train set was £9.50. And I think it's 60 piece. Yeah, 60 pieces. My mum actually has um, something really similar to this at her house and it was my brother's when he was a boy and my girls always loved playing with it so I wanted um, to get the girls one last Christmas just couldn't find one for a reasonable reasonable price so I didn't buy them one in the end but for £9.50 you can't go wrong with that can you and this is like one of those classic toys that will just go through every kid doesn't matter what gender and they just all love it so Sophie will enjoy playing with this as she gets bigger and my big girls now will enjoy playing with that. So I think that was a bargain. Now, oh, just tip these out. What were these each? 350, I think these are. Yep, yeah, 350 for the figures. So we've got these um, Disney Princess Mini Ariel. So we've got six of these. We've got Ariel, Snow White, Belle, Belle in her yellow dress, Cinderella, and Merida. So the girls will have three of those each and I'm going to put them in their stockings. My girls have already got a good collection of these. Now there was like... A gift a gift set because he FaceTimed me so I saw it and it come with six of these in there for 25 pounds if you bought the six of these separately that's 21 pounds so sometimes it's worth yeah worth figuring it out which way is cheaper to do it so it's actually cheaper to buy them individually than the gift set so yeah I don't know who's gonna have what but they'll have three each and they're perfect size for the stockings. They love these as well. They've got so many downstairs. Actually, I know, I think one of my mums from my mum group, her, her daughters love, love those as well. Last thing we got the girls. Let's see how much these were. Um, I'm not going to be able to, there we go. £7.50 for these. The girls have got one each. They're exactly the same. I'm not going to hold both up because they're the same. So these are the Glimmer Girls, £7.50 did I say for those? And inside you get a mermaid, a fairy and a princess. So this one's the mermaid, the fairy and the princess. Again, anything Barbie doll like, they love. They're getting a good collection of dolls now. So yeah, joy of having girls, I guess. So that... They've got one each, but I'm not going to show you. Um, that is everything on my haul. So if you enjoyed this haul, 
and my other videos, please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.